welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming a video again. I haven't filmed in a couple of months. I just had a lot going on, like cosmetology school and working at Starbucks and all of that, but um, a lot has changed. Um, I, if you guys are interested, I don't know if you guys are interested, but if you are, let me know if you guys want a life update video. I did graduate cosmetology school. Um, if you guys want a Q&A about cosmetology school or any of that, please let me know. I did film a day in the life of a Cosmo student, though, before I left, so, um, I need to edit that, but it just has a lot of clips on it, and I'm... Barely trying to get into the routine of YouTube again, so. And um, a few of you guys commented on one of my videos that you wanted a tour of my train case. This is my mobile train case. I made a video about it when I first got it. Um, so it's been, it's been a while. I think I want to say almost a year since I got it. Um, and I love it. So, yeah, let's begin. So... I do have this stuffle bag that I bring to every appointment as well. I bring this and this um, because not everything would fit in here. So just a quick tour of the duffel bag. I got it off Amazon. I just looked up duffel bag. It has this front pocket here that I usually keep um, my wire for, like my charger for my drill. Um, it's not a, it's, it's a Koopa drill though, so you don't have to plug it in the wall. It's a portable one, but just in case it dies on me, I don't want it to be drillless. So yeah, and then it has this like, it has two like half pockets right here. These, these ones right here, they're like half pockets. They're short little pockets. And on this one, on this side, I keep my, these are like the feet that I use for my table because my dad did like customize my table so that it's a little higher. Um, I really wish I could make a video on how to do that. But honestly, it was a circus. Like, it was it was a lot of work for my dad, but he figured it out. Um, but basically what he did is just put bigger wheels. I think I mentioned it when I first got my train case, but he put bigger wheels on it so that the like, high, like bigger ones, because the original ones come with little ones, and these are like at least two inches, maybe, um, so that the table could just come a little higher. But since he did put wheels and the table is higher, the table would be lopsided if he didn't put legs on it, so we did put little legs on them. So those are the little legs, but yeah. And then on the side, I keep all of my wires, so that is for my desk lamp, my UV light, and then just extra wire, like for my desk collector, but I don't really bring my desk collector with me to every appointment. And then I have just a little water bottle, um, little water bottle sleeves on each side. In this half pocket, I don't keep anything. Sometimes I'll throw my phone and my keys in there. And then on this side, I keep my drill. And this is the drill I use. It's the Koopa drill in the rose color. It's not rose gold. I think it's just called rose, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. But um, it's very pretty. I love, love, love this drill. It's amazing. Um, I used to use a Melly D. Susie drill, but that one died on me. So I just decided to get my that drill because I had been wanting it for a while. So I just invested in it. But... Yeah, it is more on the pricier side. Okay. And then, in the big pocket, I have... If I can open it. <laughs> I have my table arm rest. I got this off Amazon, but I did um, sew the sleeve. I do sew, so I um, made like a custom sleeve to fit it, just so it could match with all my black supplies. Because I was like on this thing about wanting all my supplies to be black. Now I don't really care, but yeah. And then this is the lamp I use. It's the brand JKSWT on Amazon, and it just it folds up like this. Yeah, I really like this lamp. Um, I've been through a couple because all my other ones always die on me. And then I have a little trash container thing for my trash. I have my um, extension thingy. And then my lamp. This is the Melody Susie lamp. It's pretty dusty, crusty, but it does a job. <laughs> and then I have my fur rug here that I use sometimes for my backgrounds, for my pictures. So yeah, that is all that I keep in this. That's all I keep in my duffel bag. And then moving on to my train case. This is what it looks like. Um, the table is pretty beaten up, honestly. I've used it. I use it like almost every day of my life, so it's pretty beaten up. Um, but it is acetone proof and alcohol proof and monomer proof, which is amazing. I love it. The only reason why it has all these like uh, marks on it is because I had acrylic that like dried up on it. 
and I tried to scratch it off and it ended up scratching like the bottom of it um and then I threw out like acetone on it trying to like melt it off but yeah it just made little marks but I mean it's still like smooth um I'm gonna try to figure out a way how to cover this though maybe with like some wallpaper or paint it I'm not sure but if you guys want a video on it let me know and I'll do it but yeah um and then this is the like the bottom portion of it like the little cupboard thing so uh, like I mentioned when I first got the train case it does have like a combination thing that you can like um customize to fit your to your own combinations I don't know I never wanted to even figure it out because it was just a confusing process and I locked myself out a couple times so what I did is just I just kept the little red strip on there. Um, I did mention this though when I first got the train case, but the red strip is what keeps the combination from moving and like, you know, making your own combination or whatever. So I just kept the red strips on the bottom and the top so that um, they won't move and it'll just remain open all the time. But yeah, you just push these, you push the bottom one up and we push this one up, you push the bottom one down and then it'll open. And then this is what the drawers look like and the first drawer I keep my uh to be disinfected containers so these are just dirty implements that I disinfect and then um here are just like extra tools that I use so in here I have like um just my extra little sorry guys I'm trying to keep this focused I have my little scissors I got these off Amazon um, so I use these to, like, to cut the tips or whatever, whenever I need to cut things. This is my little cleanup brush. I need to get a new one, though, because this one kind of sucks. When I use nail polish, I have, like, my rhinestone picker upper. And then I have this extra tool that I use when I, like, mix um, nail polishes on my little paint plate thing. And then back here, I have some um, mandrel, but, like, sanding bands. In just different sizes I got this at my local nail supply and then I have just two containers of nail bits I just got these recently for Christmas so these are my newer ones I have so many bits so 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 many bits that are just it's unnecessary honestly um, I think I do have a video on like bits that I'd recommend um, I'd go watch that because honestly having a lot of bits is just unnecessary and you learn that as you go but I mean different bits work for different people though so that's the tricky about part about it is that you don't know which ones are going to work for you and like make it to your everyday routine type thing so yeah that's what kind of is frustrating you kind of have to experiment but anyways in this drawer I keep all my acrylics and then um my uh nail files and my nail buffers these are the ones I use they're just like the mini ones and then just the regular these are 80 grit um nail files and yeah i just get these at i got these on amazon and then i get these at my nail supply and then these are my acrylics i use young nails it's just my favorite brand thus far um i do want to try valentino's um i have a few other valentino like their nail polish gels and they're amazing for nail art but I have yet to try like their acrylic system, but I do want to try it. But right now I really love Young Nails. This is just the brand that I use, but yeah, have that. And then all my nail tips. So this is just like a section that, I don't know, I need to take these out because I'm running out of these, but these are Wildflower full cover nail tips. I got these when I was on my full cover, like my press on when I was on my press-on stage, <laughs> I really wanted to like sell press-ons and everything, so I bought a bunch of these um, in almond, I bought them in stiletto and coffin, and I did a few sets and then just stopped because I just got so busy with school and everything, but I don't know, I'm not even sure if I'm interested in press-ons anymore. I'd probably do it if I got really good at like character art and stuff for like really creative sets, but like more basic sets I don't think I'd be down. But that being said, I didn't want Tim to go to waste because I do have, like, extra boxes of these. Um, so what I do is just I cut a well out for the M in them. Like, I cut, instead of them being full cover, I'll cut, like, a little well into them. 
So this is what they look like. There's a few missing in here, but I cut a well like up here and then I just glued them on because the almond shape is amazing. This is like my most used. And then I have one of my clients who loves coffins, so I'll use these on her. And then this is just another coffin tip, but I'm not really the biggest fan. If you guys are needing tips, let me know and I'll just send you guys these for like a low price. Um, like I like them. These are great tips, but I don't know. They just don't fit most of my clients like really well. So I don't really use them that often. I have so many more tips where these came from, honestly. So many more like stored. And I don't even know what to do with them anymore, but... So if you guys are in need of tips, let me know, and I'll send you a lot of them for, like, very cheap. Or, honestly, I might even just give them to you. Just pay for shipping. Because <laughs> I have so many tips, guys. Seriously. If you guys need some, um, message me on Instagram. And I'll ship them out to you. Because I have a lot of tips. Okay. And then I have, at the bottom drawer, I have some Lysol wipes. I have little um, pencil boxes with things in them. So these are my bibs. So I have black bibs for my desk. Um, which clearly I don't use often because it's all types of messed up. But um, I do try to when I remember to. Um, but yeah, I should, I should use it more often. And then here I have a hole puncher. Um... And my, um, oh man, these are my loyalty cards. This is, these are my loyalty cards. Um, I just give them out to my clients and yeah, I just punch them out. Um, the little nail polish bottles, like I punch those out. And then, um, I think the fifth visit is 10% off. Yeah. And then the 10th visit is 50% off the set. And then I just have extra business cards here that I carry with me in case my clients want to take some with them. But yeah, this is a heart hole puncher. It's like the cutest thing ever. And then I have my napkins in this one. And I just use like the blue napkins. And then gloves back there. Which I need to get new ones because those fit to me too big. So that is what is in that area. At the top portion, I have um, this little like pencil separator, like desk separator thing. I don't know. Um, that I have this liquid that I have yet to use, thank God. But um, it's basically it's liquid styptic, like a stick styptic. Um, it's like a skin protector. If you cut them, you put some on there, and then it's supposed to stop the bleeding. But I don't even know if that works because I've never cut someone. Uh, well, I have, but um, I haven't cut anyone since I bought this, so it's been a while, thank God, but yeah. And then I have um, the Young Nails Rose Oil Cuticle Oil. I have my top coat. I have um, the Kadia's Glue, my little mini UV light, my cart nail rhinestone glue. My Young Nails Bonder, McCart Gel Polish. This is the best white gel polish in the game, y'all. If you haven't tried it, it's the McCart White Gel Polish. Amazing. Amazing. This is the best white, white polish. Um, my matte top coat. The Young Nails um, Stain Resistant Top Coat, which I only use on like clients that are like hairdressers or their hair often. Um, and then my Nail Addict Black nail polish which is the best black polish in the game for sure and then the next one I would say is probably the McCart one um, but yeah that's the, the best black that I've found and then I have the my monomer cup dampen dish and then this is what I use to put like my gel polishes and when I'm doing nail art so I use like this as my palette basically I need to get a new one though because it freaking chipped right here but I thrifted both of these little glass things. And then I have my Young Nails acrylic brush. This is my go-to. This is the only brush that I use. It's amazing. It's in this, it has like the nail, it has a cover on it. This is what it looks like. And then you just put it like that, but 
Ooh, do you see that hair right there that I missed? Dang. But, um, yeah, this is my favorite now hairbrush. Um, and then this is just a Pana one. I think it's a size 8. Um, I'm not a really big fan of these. Um, they're great brushes, don't get me wrong. But they're just really fat for my liking, and I'm not used to it quite yet. I like working with smaller brushes, but it does take me longer, so I do want to get myself to use them more, which is why it's out here. And then this container, I have my Young Nails Swipe. My Young Nails Monomer, alcohol, acetone, and then my lint-free wipes that I get from Nail Supply Grammar. And then I have my dust brush that I only use like on my table, surfaces, like all of this stuff. I don't use this on clients. And then I have this little separator that I put my drill in, in here when I'm working. And then last but not least, I have under this little... Like this thing, this thing lifts, lifts out. And then I have my, so in there I have my nail art brushes. I put them in this little brush carrier thing. Um, they're honestly too many. I don't need these many nail art brushes. If you guys are in need of nail art brushes, let me know. I will send you guys the ones I don't use, which is like 95% of these. So if you're interested, message me on Instagram. <laughs> you can pay for shipping. They're great, I just, no one needs that many brushes in their life, honestly. So yeah, there's that, and then I have this little container, which contains just extra implements, just like backups. So I have like a straight nail clipper that I use to remove nails when I want to soak them off. I have like extra scissors. And then, what is in here? I think it's just another of my, uh, it's my, like my, uh, rhinestone picker-uppers. Oh, one of the brushes fell out. I'm gonna just put it right here and put it back later. But, yeah. So, that is the end of the tour, guys. I know it's a shorter video, but, again, I just wanted to get a video up, since I haven't, I feel like it don't motivate me once I have a video up, so... Yeah, that is the end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding this um, travel case, just let me know. Any questions any about anything, let me know. Um, if you guys want a QA, and a um, let me know. I don't know. Just leave uh, video ideas in the comments. I have a few that I still want to film, but um, I really want to film things that you guys want to watch. So anything related to nails, sewing, uh, lifestyle, vlogs... Q and A's, whatever I'm up to. So, yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Till next time.